Hello everyone, this is Mohammed from Starseed FX. In this video, I will explain how to correctly choose the last bullish and last bearish candle. These candles are among the most important criteria in trading the ABCD pattern. It may be a little bit confusing, especially for new traders, but once you master it, you will see the market structure differently and notice a lot of winning trades. Before we continue, I would like to remind you that we have a fantastic community where I share trading alerts, high time frame market analysis and trade ideas. By joining our community, you will gain access to a supportive group of fellow traders eager to share their insights and strategies. Whether you are a beginner looking to learn or an experienced trader aiming to refine your skills, our community provides invaluable resources and a supportive environment to help you succeed. Let's dive into the details and make sure you understand how to effectively identify the last bullish and bearish candles in your trading strategy. How to choose the highest bullish candle of the trend or the lowest bearish candle of the trend? That question still confuses some of my fellow traders. They keep asking me the same thing again and again. I still receiving questions regarding this matter is it my highest bullish candle is it my lowest bearish candle so i will explain it one more time here today how to choose the highest bullish candle of the trend and how to choose the lowest bearish candle of the trend so let's start anywhere in the market let's start here this is a bearish trend market now which candle here is my lowest bearish candle is it this candle or this candle or this candle or this candle for me i'm following that simple rule to mark my lowest bearish candle i want to make sure that bearish candle broke the lowest price of the market by candle body so in this scenario we have in here this bearish candle is my lowest bearish candle why because it broke the lowest price of the market here or the low of the previous bearish candle so this candle is my lowest bearish candle because it broke the lowest price of the market by candle body or we can say it broke the low of the previous candle by candle body it is important to be by candle body not just candle wick because look what will happen here now this bullish candle despite it close bullish it broke the low of the previous bearish candle just by week not by candle body now where is the lowest price of the market the lowest price of the market is here correct in the low of this bullish candle here okay now if i want to choose a new lowest bearish candle i want that low here to be broken by a bearish candle body which did not happen right this candle here yes it is a bearish candle but yet it broke the lowest price of the market here at the low of this bullish candle only by week so this is not my last or my latest bearish candle this candle here remains to be my lowest bearish candle and then here this one also now the lowest market price is moving from the low of this bullish candle to the low of this bearish candle here correct okay let's see if this bearish candle here broke the low of the previous bearish candle or the lowest price of the market by candle body or not it did not break it by candle body so i cannot mark this bearish candle here to be my lowest bearish candle again now the lowest price of the market move here 
because this low here is lower than the previous low here right so here let's see has this bearish candle broke the low of the previous bearish candle by candle body no it just broke by candle wick so that indicates what my lowest bearish candle remain to be this candle here this is not my lowest bearish candle this candle here is not my my lowest bearish candle and this and that why because none of these four candles broke the low of the previous candle by a candle body or broke the lowest price of the market by candle body it's the same for a bullish trend let's try to find a bullish trend here okay now let's cut here and see this bullish candle is my highest bullish candle why because it broke the high of the previous bullish candle or the previous candle by candle body here so this candle is my highest bullish candle so if i want to mark a new highest bullish candle i want to make sure the high of this candle to be broken by candle body let's move okay now i have a new highest bullish candle why because this bullish candle here broke the high of the previous bullish candle by candle body so i can mark this candle here as my highest bullish candle and i can just delete this one okay let's move the market again and again before i move the market if i want to mark a new bullish candle to be my highest bullish candle of the trend i want to make sure that candle breaks the high of this candle which represents the highest price of the market so i want the highest price of the market here to be broken by candle body okay now the high or the highest price of the market broken just by candle wick not by candle body so this candle here remains to be my highest bullish candle of the market only one thing that's gonna be changed that high here is my highest market price so if i want to mark a new highest bullish candle i want to i want to make sure the high or the previous highest price of the market to be broken by candle body so is that clear i know it may sound confusing but the more you practice the more you will find it very easy because here the break happened directly between one candle and another right but here there is no break happened yet so what happened here is just the highest price of the market here changed from this bullish candle to the high of this small bullish candle here okay so let's move the market and see now i have a new bullish candle broke the highest or the last highest price of the market by candle body so i have a new highest bullish candle of the market so that means it's not always will happen between one candle and the previous it can happen between one candle and two one candle and three one candle and four so when that happens when there are so many wicks or candle before the breaks happen we need to make sure our highest bullish candle that we mark to break the highest or the latest high price of the market now if we are about to mark a new bullish candle we want the high of the previous candle to be broken by candle body which at the same time represent the highest 
price of the trend or the last highest price of the trend i understand the price closed here but before it closes here it reached that high and that high i want it to be broken now the high of the previous bullish candle is not broken so i don't have a new highest bullish candle and the market started to move down let's try to find another bearish example okay here is the same example let's maybe cut here okay now to mark this bearish candle to be my lowest bearish candle i want to make sure it breaks the lowest price of the trend the lowest price of the trend is here at the low of this previous bullish candle so as it was broken here now i have this bearish candle to be marked as my latest bearish candle okay now if i want to mark a new candle or a new bearish candle to be my new lowest bearish candle i want to make sure the low of this lowest candle here for now to be broken now the low of the previous bearish candle broken by candle body so i have a new lowest or lower bearish candle again if i want to mark a new lowest bearish candle i want to make sure the low of the last bearish candle here to be broken by candle body not by candle wick okay now the market started to push up and now i got to start thinking of the lowest point or the lowest price of the market so the lowest price of the market for this trend remains or lies here where i mark my lowest bearish candle okay so anyhow if i want to mark or if it happens to have a new lowest bearish candle i want to make sure that bearish candle breaks that level here or the pro this price here by candle body that did not happen yet it didn't happen yet okay now i have my lowest market price broken by candle wick not by candle body so i have a lowest market price now the lowest price of the market move from this bearish candle to the new bearish candle over here okay now let's move the market now we see that the new bearish candle here broke the low of the market price over here let's delete that one so i have a new lowest bearish candle okay that's exactly what i'm doing to mark my lowest bearish candle or my highest bearish candle thank you so much for watching if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this if you have any questions about today's topic or if there is a specific ideas you would like me to cover in the upcoming video feel free to leave a comment down below your feedback is always appreciated until next time, take care and happy trading.